we start with a puzzle. If you could hold a ton weight above your head, how much work would you be doing? The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this nothing nerdy video on work done as energy transfer. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. You must understand the idea of work as a transfer of energy and be able to do calculations for situations where work is being done. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. Here is the definition of work in physics. A force is applied to an object and it moves in the direction the force is acting. Work is done, or to put it another way, energy is transferred. Here is the formula for work. If the force and the displacement are acting in the same direction, then we multiply the force by the displacement. But if there is an angle theta between the force and the direction in which the object travels, then we are only interested in the components of the force and displacement which act in the same direction. Then we multiply f, s and cosine theta. Work is measured in joules. This dog pulls his owner 75 centimetres to the left and does work using a force of 32 newtons in the leash. The work done is calculated using the formula W equals Fs cosine theta. The force and the displacement are not parallel and only the horizontal component of the force parallel to the displacement is doing work. The component is adjacent to the angle of 25 degrees, and so we are right to be using cosine. The vertical component acts at right angles to the displacement, and so does no work. Its effect is to pull downwards on the owner's hand, but no work is done in the vertical direction. We substitute into the formula, noticing that the displacement must be converted to metres from centimetres. The cosine is stated as three significant figures to be a bit more precise, though we know in the end that we must round to two significant figures. And here is the unit, the joule, named after James Joule, which applies to both work and energy. When a force of one newton moves an object one meter in the direction of the force, the work done is one joule. This definition of energy shows the close equivalence between the concepts of work and energy. When work is done, energy is transferred within the system. For example, the work done accelerating an object is transferred to kinetic energy. The work done by a brake pad slowing down a bicycle transfers kinetic heat energy to heat. Here in the initial situation, one spring has potential energy Ep when it's extended by E with the mass on the bottom. When the two springs are in series with the same mass on the bottom, each of them is experiencing the same force and they're both extended by E, or to put it another way, it's like a double length string and it's extended by 2E. Either way, each spring has the potential energy Ep in it and therefore the answer is C. The answer to this puzzle is that you do no work holding an object which does not move. You would have done work to raise the weight, and if it fell, gravity would do work on the weight, but when you hold it still, no work is done on the weight. This does not mean that muscles don't need energy, because they function by repeatedly twitching, which transfers energy to heat in the person. Mm -hmm.